Hey guys, I'm Alistair from Trailing Kill, and this is my Hoka Mac 6 review. So if you've read or watched my Mac 5 review, you'll know I really enjoyed that shoe. Um, incredible shoe for the price, and one that you just couldn't pass by on. And I ended up running in that for many, many more miles after my review. So I'm super excited to get hold of the Mac 6 and give you my thoughts on these running shoes. Let's start with who they're for then, who they're targeted at. Well, they are a tempo or speed work running shoe um, and they're very affordable. So they're for those people who don't want to break the bank and just want a really nice fast running shoe for 5Ks or 10Ks. Now, before getting into the juicy bits of this review, I'm going to go over some of the key features of the Hoka Max 6. Firstly, they cost $140, which is, like I said before, super affordable. Can't pass that by. How do they fit? How do they feel? Well, they're super nice and uh, responsive and actually quite cushy as well. Nice bit of cushioning in there. Um, and they fit true to size. And they have a medium width. And if you're wondering if they have any stability, no, they don't. They are still a very much a neutral running shoe. So if you don't have any pronation issues or anything like that, then these are going to be for you. The midsole is using super critical foam now. Um, that's one of the updates to this shoe. And on the outsole, you have zoned rubber compound. So it doesn't cover the whole of the outsole. And that's to basically save the shoe some weight. Um, whilst I'm going over some of the things that are updated, the other key feature that has an update in this shoe is the Creole Jacquard mesh upper. So this is all new. Feels very breathable um, and very durable on the outside layer as well. So I really like what they've done with the updates to the upper. They have a five millimeter drop from heel to toe. Feels really nice. Pretty much exactly how the previous. Uh, Mac 5 felt as well. And then finally, they weigh 7.8 ounces, and that's for a size US Men's 9. That's my pair. So that's very lightweight, by the way. Well, excuse the scene change. It was getting way too dark outside, and a GoPro just couldn't handle the filming. So apologies, I brought you back into the really messy office. To finish off this Hoka Mac 6 review, where was I then? I think I was about to go over some of the key features of the Max 6 that I really like. First off then, I'm going to say the fit and feel. It's just incredible right out of the box. Um, just as the Hoka Mac 5 was, so is the 6. Feels awesome. I love the medium width. Plenty of room in the toe box as well. And the breathability of the new Creole Jacquard mesh upper is awesome. I feel like there's plenty of airflow going through into the shoe and back out. As my feet heat up, I felt like the temperature is regulating itself really nicely. So love what Hoka has done with how these shoes feel. Next up, I'm going to say this articulated heel counter at the rear. Um, the Mac 5 had the exact same thing. I love it. I love the way it gives your heel that little bit of extra breathing room when you're actually going through your stride. So it doesn't put any pressure on your Achilles heel. And so I love that feature. Next up, the thing that I really like is the super critical foam. This is new for the version 6. Um, that's the foam being used in the midsole. And it feels really nice. I feel like it is actually slightly more cushioned somehow. Maybe a little bit more plush. And maybe it's losing a little bit of responsiveness because of that. I don't know. Either way, it feels really good. Um, it doesn't feel hugely different to the Mac 5. It's still a fast running shoe for anything up to 10 kilometers. Um, so I would recommend using this shoe for anything like tempo running or even racing 5Ks or 10Ks. Next thing I really like about the shoe is the zoned rubber compound on the outsole. So you can see it's not all the way around the outsole. There are areas where they've left off some of the uh, tread or rubber compound here and here. And they've basically done that to reduce weight. Uh, they only put the rubber compound where they expect your feet to land, or most people's feet to land, which is the forefoot, um, and on the back of the heel here. So that's really nice. It does feel super lightweight, and as I said before, it is a super lightweight shoe. And it just feels fast because of it. So yeah, they're the things I really like about the shoe. Next up, some things that I feel could be improved for the next version would be the tongue. So I like the tongue and the fit in general, but 
this section here is a little bit solid. As you can see, this is a very flexible bit and then it's quite solid on the front here. Um, and the tongue does slip down a little bit. Uh, it'd be nicer to have that tongue a little bit more secure in place. Now, I mentioned the solid bit of the tongue here because I feel like this could be more comfortable if it wasn't quite so you know, plasticky there. Um, but a very minor point which I could very easily not have even mentioned. Talking about the tongue still, there is a nice gusseted feature on the inside on both sides. That's this bit here which basically holds the tongue to the rest of the upper um, and does keep it in place for the most part. But what I like about it is how it wraps around your foot on the inside and doesn't create any rubbing points because there's no seams there basically. So it feels really nice on the inside. Well, that's it for my Hoka Max 6 review. I really like these shoes. If you're looking to buy a new pair of Tempo running shoes and don't really want to break the bank, then I can't recommend these guys enough. $140, you get a hell of a lot of shoe. Um, it's really well built. I can't recommend this color personally. It's not the most exciting. Um, it doesn't really fit my personality. But it does come in many other different colors, um, which I'm sure will suit you too. So yes, definitely a thumbs up from me for the Hoka Max 6. It's a great running shoe, just as good as the Mac 5 that came before it. And I think I'm going to be keeping this one. I'm going to be hanging on to it and doing more of my tempo runs in this shoe as well. Well, I really hope you enjoyed watching this Hoka Max 6 review. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Peace.